don't feel any kind of way about your mom? How do you feel about your mom and this transition that she has made? Um, what do you mean? Do I feel any kind of way? I don't. How do you feel about all these changes? I mean. What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl, Joy. And Bobby. Bobby. And Bobby um, just got back from D.C. Now, what was that D.C. trip about? <laughs> I wasn't in D.C. Oh, where were you? I thought I was in D.C. I just got back from Baltimore. Baby, it's all around the same tri-state. D.C., Virginia, Baltimore, <laughs> all around the same. Come on now. I was in Baltimore. I got invited to a conference um, run by the NCAA, and it was a unparalleled experience. Like it was absolutely amazing. some water with that cough? Mm. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so, okay, so the experience what? Oh, it was great. It's basically, it was basically a leadership, it was called Learn Lead. So basically, it was across the entire NCAA and three athletes from every conference were chosen to go to Baltimore. It was a conference. Hmm? Okay. What's a conference? Okay. So three athletes from every conference. Oh, that's good. Oh, I thought you meant like what's the conference? Like what is a conference? It's a conference. Like, but so that's kind of a that's a good question. Like you have like the Big Twelve. Like I don't know how to explain. Like a conference is like a like your district. Mm -hmm. You know how, like, your district, you have, like, all the schools. So, basically, all the schools who I play against, they pick three of us out of all the schools who we play against. So, it's like... Oh, really? Yeah. So, it's three athletes among every single school in our conference. And there's 12 schools in our conference. And they only pick three? Mm -hmm. How did you get chosen? You. It was, like, nomination-based. So... I had to get nominated and then I had to like send them like a little oh like why do you want to go kind of thing mm -hmm. and they picked me and two other guys from my conference who I still talk to now oh, really? I actually still talk to my whole group yeah mm -hmm. but it was great we basically learned a lot about learning how to lead a lot about mental health and sports and uh so do you feel as though it was life changing for you? It was it was such a great experience. It really was. I wish like everybody could be able to do that. But even if you don't play sports? Yeah. Hundred percent. Because it was like it wasn't only athletes, there were also oh. like coaches and like coordinators, athletic directors, mm -hmm. like it was a very inclusive you get the athletic perspective, coaches' perspectives, AD's perspective, athletic director's perspective, mm -hmm. everything. It was very so it was Division One all the time? It was every division, yeah. JUCO? Uh, no, there actually weren't JUCOs there. Just NCAA, D1, D2, D3. Because I don't think JUCOs are NCAA. I don't know. Because there's like NCAA, NAIAs. I don't know if JUCOs are NCAA. So how's basketball? How was the season? Um, it was good. We we ended up third in our conference, which is not that's nice. Yeah, which isn't bad, but I think we could have done a lot better this year. But we'll be a completely new team last year. This year, there's eight of us now, and we've lost seven. 
Whoa, you lost all half the team. Yeah, we lost seven, and there's eight returners. And we're bringing in seven. Yeah, we're bringing in seven. We lost seven, we're bringing in seven. Oh my goodness. We lost seven, yeah. We lost six, or was it seven? Well, we lost six at the end. So we're bringing in seven new, five freshmen, two transfers. So it'll be a completely new team. So I couldn't tell you how it's going to go next year. But that's what went well. Postseason went really well. So you don't feel any kind of way about your mom? How do you feel about your mom and this transition that she has made? Um, what do you mean, do I feel any kind of way? I don't... How do you feel about all these changes? I mean, I guess it... It doesn't really directly affect me, like, now that I'm away at college. And, like, I could stay at school. Like, I could have stayed there for the summer, but since I got the internship down here, I'm back. But I, I mean, I'm happy that you made the change and did something that you wanted to do. As, but it, it does make me a little nervous sometimes. Um, but well it's like it's a change but I still feel as though I haven't fully yeah dove in because yeah. I will say <laughs> sometimes I go to big daddy's house sometimes I'm in the car sometimes I'm at a friend's house so it's I haven't mm -hmm. fully just like it, it, this is it 100% yeah, that's why it's kind of like, because I feel like you're still like in the in between yeah. right now. So, mm -hmm. and then honestly, where I decide to sleep, I kind of go to the same spot all the time. Oh, <laughs> and I feel comfortable there. Um, I feel safe, and I never get out of my car. Yeah. So no one, and it's always at night, and no one ever sees me. But this summer, I'm working summer school, so the goal was to travel this summer. But I'm working summer school, so that's going to take up June. And then July, or the latter part of June, I have to do my professional developments. Teachers have to um, have 18 hours every year, every year. So I feel like I'm stuck in that sense, too. And it does get hot in Texas. So it is not a place I would want to be in a car, honestly, in Texas in the summertime. Yeah, I was going to ask, are you kind of glad that we did this? <clears throat> Just um, for the, like, for the summer. For the summer? Like said, no, I would have traveled up north. Okay. So I would I would have, you know, uh, ventured out up north. So I still feel as though I haven't branched out to travel. So I haven't fully stepped out of my comfort zone. No way. I stepped out of my comfort zone. I did something that, you know, I wanted to try. Yeah. And did I have to do this? No, I did not. But it was something I've been thinking about and planning for well over two years. And then when the opportunity arose, I was like, so it's like, I can't say that I, I hate it right now mm -hmm. because I have one foot in and one foot out. Right. But when I go to sleep, I'm quite comfortable. It's cozy. I did. I laid back there today. It was it was comfortable. And you weren't fully lying down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you should still travel. Like, I don't want you to not just because I'm here. Like. Yeah, I know. I still think you should try it. So I'll probably try, um, I at least want to try um, a couple of state parks. But I, I have to figure out the summer school. <clears throat> Um, all of my professional developments that I have to take, I, there's no getting around that. You have to. Mm -hmm. And then I But have you to, usually finish them pretty fast, right? And you end up doing like extra because you just like that. Well, I, I have to take a GT uh, training. So I have to do 12 hours of that. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about enrolling, getting back into school. I already submitted my transcripts, but mm -hmm. I haven't done anything else. So <laughs> my... Uh, Supervisor, she was like, "So, how's that going? What, did you do go to go through the next step?" I'm like, "Let's get through the end of the year." 
And so I know I haven't been doing videos, but we're at the end of the school year and it is pretty intense. The kids know that the end is near. Mm -hmm. We have grades, paperwork, administrative work, uh, doing last minute things and have to pack up the classroom. It's just so much right now. And I'm a little behind. So it's just a, it's just a lot going on all at once. It seems like everything just happens all at once. So that's where I am right now. But we are gonna save some more of this juicy tea for next time. I have to tell you about Clinton, honey, and then I have to tell you about Sydney, okay? All right. Oh my gosh, I have to figure out because where we're staying is much, much further from my school. Oh, really? We in Conroe. I, I work in Humble. I just didn't know. I guess I don't know what direction. I'm bad. With I'm that. going. I'm going this way, towards downtown. Oh, and we went. Yeah, yeah. It's just so like 15 I, minutes. No, it's adding about 30 minutes on my drive. No way. Mm hmm It's 15 minutes from research. Research first. Yeah, this is like 15 minutes from Home, Home Depot. Depot. From Home Depot? This is like 15 minutes from where we used to live. Maybe 20? No, it's about almost 25. Yeah. So I have to add more time to my drive in the morning. So, oof, I can't be snoozing. So, there may be a, a day or two where I just be like, mm -mm, I'm staying. I'm staying in a car, okay? And that's the luxury you have now, though. Yeah, but I don't want to leave you here by yourself. She don't got that, you know, that street gangster. Can you Maybe. fight? I've never fought anybody before, so I don't know. I feel like I gotta be really mad. Like, someone would have made me really Maybe. mad. She crazy. <laughs> <laughs> listen, 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 listen. <laughs> so, when she was little, right? I don't know, she could have been about two, maybe. And she snapped. And she tried to snap on me. And she just, she, I think she blacked out. I was like, oh, okay, so you got a little crazy up in you. And she just went crazy. I don't know if it was on me or on Clinton. I could have sworn it was Clinton. It was Clinton. You, you told me this story before, but it was Clinton. And she, it was like, she was <laughs> possessed. I was like, oh, okay, it's in there. So it's deep in there. I guess she would just have to be provoked. Yeah. But I saw the crazy <clears throat> one time. I sort of crazy. So it's in there. But see, with my life experiences, the crazy is, is, is always ready to come out. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I hope you never have to have mm -hmm. that crazy right at the tip of the edge. Mm -hmm. But life experiences that you go through will definitely add to the ancestors that you have to reach back for to be on your shoulders <laughs> i was doing that today with one of my ex-students he was like can you fight miss that no he asked if miss anderson can fight i was like mm -mm, it'll be her sister <laughs> he was like oh her sister i said miss anderson's gonna pray for you but she ain't trying to fight nobody but her sister now baby she'll get with it if she has to okay she's the feisty one andrea and uh, and then she was like, "Well, what about you?" I was like, "No, I would have to tell Miss Anderson and move to the side, and I have to, I have to take care of business for for her." <laughs> and then he was like, and then he was like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> it's so funny. So he went from my class to Miss Anderson's class because I think he needed a little more structure, but he he's adorable. <laughs> All right, y'all. I have to give you the tea about Sydney and Clinton in another video because this one was a little long, okay? <laughs> but I would say the sandwich, well, it was okay. Would I run out and go do it again? It was good, but... 
I don't think it's something I'll be running out to do again. Oh, baby, I had me um firehouse sub. I was so hungry, I didn't eat breakfast, and I just had a little cup of noodles for lunch. And I was about to eat my arm off. <laughs> I said, mm, the biggest one you had, the biggest one. It was, what was it? It was about like that. Baby, I ate that sandwich along my drive when I came to check out this place. Mm -hmm. Gone. And I was like, when I was done, I was like, oh, I could probably eat another one of those. Girl. I eat like a dude. It's I could terrible. too if I wanted to. Uh, no, you eat like a dude. You, I've seen you put it down. <laughs> but, but you only... work out a lot too. Yeah, I need to get. I need to get to the gym. I need to get to the gym for like two days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Give this video a thumbs up. Until next time.